Asus launched its new ZenBook 13, UX325, and VivoBook S14, S433 last weekend during the company's most recent launch stream. The new laptops are ostensibly refreshed models of the one released a few months ago, with the biggest difference being the new 11th gen Intel processors and Intel Iris Xe graphics. Apart from the new laptops, Asus also announced their new TikTok Be Incredible challenge, which is happening on November 3rd, where fans can get the chance to win a VivoBook S14. Going back to the laptops, the new ZenBook 13, or more specifically the UX325EA, features the same design and chassis as the UX325JA that was released back in August. That means it features the same thin and light body that measures 1.3 centimeters thin and weighs around 1.1 kilograms. That also means it has the same array of I.O. ports, including two Thunderbolt 4 USB-C ports, a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A port, an HDMI port, and a micro SD card reader. Yeah, Asus has passed on the 3.5mm headphone jack for the ZenBook 13 UX325 line, so users are going to have to utilize the included USB-C to 3.5mm dongle to use their wired headphones. As I mentioned earlier, the new ZenBook 13 UX325 is powered by one of Intel's 11th generation processors, specifically the Core i5-1135G7, which is coupled with Intel's new Iris Xe graphics, which is said to be more capable for gaming than the company's previous UHD graphics. The rest of the specs of the ZenBook 13 include a 13.3-inch Full HD IPS level display, 8GB of LPDDR4X RAM, running at 4266MHz and 512GB of PCIe NVMe storage. It also features Intel Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.0 wireless connectivity, and it comes with a 3D IR HD camera that supports Windows Hello, so you'll be able to log into Windows 10 with just using your face. Despite not having a 3.5mm audio port, the ZenBook 13 still features the company's Harman Kardon certified Sonic Master, audio system for its stereo speakers. It's also equipped with an array microphone, which has become pretty standard for laptops these days, which supports both Cortana and Alexa voice recognition for those that use those services. Lastly, the ZenBook 13 is powered by a 67 watt hour 4 cell battery that is supposed to last up to 15 hours, but your mileage may vary. The laptop will come with a 65 watt power adapter that plugs into one of the laptop's USB-C ports. Moving on to the new VivoBook S14 S433, just like the new ZenBook 13, this is also a refreshed laptop, specifically of the S433 JQ that also launched last August. And just like that model, this new one also comes in two new variants, the S433 EA and the S433 EQ, both of which are also powered by Intel's 11th generation processors. The S433 EA comes with an Intel Core i5 1135G7 processor and is coupled with Intel Iris Xe graphics, while the S433 EQ features a Core i7 1165G7 processor and an NVIDIA GeForce MX350 GPU. The rest of the specs of the two models are pretty much the same, including 8GB of DDR4 RAM running at 3200MHz, 512GB of SSD storage, Intel Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.0, a regular HD webcam, Harman Kardon certified audio, and an array microphone with support for Cortana. Unlike the ZenBook 13 though, the new VivoBook S14 comes with a larger array of I.O. ports including a 3.5mm headphone jack. The larger amount of ports is due to its slightly larger and heavier chassis, which measures 1.5cm thin and weighs about 1.4kg. The rest of the laptop's ports include one Thunderbolt 4 USB-C port, USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A port, two USB 2.0 ports, an HDMI port, a microSD card reader, and a port for its 65 watt power adapter. To charge its 50 watt hour 3 cell battery, which Asus says has the battery life of about 15 hours. Aside from coming in two variants, the VivoBook S14 also comes in several color options, including dreamy white, indie black, gaia green, and resolute red. Going into pricing and availability, the new ZenBook 13 ux 325 ea is already available through ASUS Concept Stores and the official ASUS Store on Lazada, 
with an SRP of 54995 As for the new VivoBook S14 models, they'll be available sometime in early November. The S433EA, which comes with an Intel Core i5 processor and Intel Iris Xe graphics, will be priced at 49995 while the more powerful S433EQ, with its Intel Core i7 processor and NVIDIA GeForce MX350 GPU, will cost 59995 Among the new laptops Asus has launched, the ZenBook 13 UX325EA and the VivoBook S14 S433EA seem to be the most interesting because of their 11th gen Intel processors and Intel Iris Xe graphics. It'll be interesting to see how well they perform not only with productivity tasks, but also with gaming, given their smaller form factor. The lack of a dedicated headphone port on the ZenBook 13 may be a turnoff for some people though, as it'll require the use of one of the laptop's two USB-C ports for the included dongle if they want to use a 3.5mm wired headphone. In that case, the VivoBook S14 may be the more preferable choice for them. Especially considering that the S VivoBook S14 also comes with a larger array of I.O. ports for connecting other peripherals. But with how popular and accessible Bluetooth earphones, headphones, and other wireless peripherals have become in the recent years, there are definitely those that aren't going to mind the fewer available ports on the ZenBook 13. Lastly, those who want a bit more performance should consider the S433 EQ variant of the VivoBook S14 with its i7 processor and NVIDIA graphics. With many people now studying or working from home, the need for new devices to accommodate that new lifestyle has just become bigger. So it's great that companies like Asus are helping to meet that need by releasing these new products. Asus is also planning to release more products in the coming months, so that's definitely something consumers can look forward to. Before we end this video, We'd like to remind you of the TikTok Be Incredible Challenge Asus is hosting on November 3rd, where you can get a chance to win one of the new VivoBook S14s. You can check out their Facebook page for more information on the challenge. Thanks for watching this video. We plan to do more of these in the future, so please let us know if you have any comments or suggestions for us. If you liked this video or if we were helpful in any way, we'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up or if you've subscribed to the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.